Good evening boys and girls and welcome to a reading with me good night stories. This evening we'll be reading Peter Rabbit. Happy birthday Peter. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's begin our adventures. Peter Rabbit. Happy birthday Peter. Map of my woods. This is a map of the woods where I live. You can see who else lives here too. It's in my dad's journal which I always have with me. It was a special day and Peter Rabbit's family and friends were planning a very special birthday party. I'll bring the cake, said Mrs Rabbit. Lily, please could you get the decorations? And Benjamin, you're in charge of getting Peter to the party on time. You can count on me, replied Benjamin proudly. What a great day for us, sir. Shh, whispered Peter's little sister Cottontail, hearing someone coming towards the burrow. A great day for what? asked Peter, marching inside. Oh, uh, hi Peter, mumbled Benjamin. A great day for um, uh, a walk, said Lily. It's a great day for a walk in the woods. I yes, I'll come with you. See you later, Peter, added Benjamin, hurrying out to the burrow. Oh, OK, sighed Peter, disappointed. Had they forgotten it was his birthday? Peter didn't want to go for a walk. He wanted to go on an extra special adventure. Phew, that was close puffed Lily, when they were far enough away from the burrow. Peter nearly found out about his own surprise party. I know, gasped Benjamin, relieved that he hadn't ruined all the plans. Now I'll go and get the decorations, said Lily. You get the balloons and we'll meet back here after lunch to collect Peter for the party. Let's hop to it. When they were out of sight, Mr. Soad sneaked out of the bushes. He had heard everything they said. A surprise birthday party? After lunch, you say? Oh, how I love surprises, he sneered. I have the perfect one in mind. Three little rabbits will make one special afternoon tea for me. Mr Toad returned home and began planning his very own sneaky surprise. I need a foolproof trap, he thought. Hmm. I could use my fishing rod. No, that won't work. Perhaps some mouth-watering radishes to tempt them. Hmm, no. Just then, something in the corner of the room caught his eye. Excellent, he said. I know just how to catch these pesky rabbits. After lunch, Benjamin and Lily went back to the burrow to collect Peter. Hi, Peter, Benjamin said. Sorry about earlier. We had to, uh, um... Go and collect something, Lily added. Peter thought they were both acting very strange. The three friends headed off into the woods. Where are we going? asked Peter curiously. Can we go to McGregor's garden? Not today, said Lily, pounding ahead. We're going on a nature walk. Well, how about we go visit Squirrel Nutkin? Peter suggested. No, said Benjamin, looking closely at a ladybird. So where are we going? Peter replied crossly. This way, called Lily, moving a rope off the path. Rats, whispered Mr Toad under his breath as he watched the bunnies walk off. The first part of his plan had been foiled, but the fiendish fox had more tricks up his sleeve. As the rabbits continued their walk through the woods, Peter began to get a little bored. Let's look for the tunnels. He said, picking up a sack and peering down into a deep, dark hole. Be careful, Peter. Mm, that looks suspiciously like one of Mr. Toad's traps, said Lily. Come on, we're going to be late, called Benjamin. Late for what? asked Peter. Uh, nothing, Benjamin blushed, hurrying away. You rascally rabbits, shouted the fox, coming out of the shadows. Now you've ruined my second trap too. Still, there's more where that came from. The friends had almost reached the party when Benjamin tripped over a branch. Look out! shouted Peter. That looks like one of Mr Toad's traps, yelled the fearsome fox. It was too late. Benjamin's trip had triggered a cage made of thorny brambles and it came crashing down on top of them. Now we'll never make it on time, Lily sighed. This is bad. This is really bad, squeaked Benjamin nervously. 
Mr. Toad sang merrily to himself as he repaired the fire. Steam and simmer, bake or stew. Peter tried yanking on the cane. It won't budge. Lily tried loosening the ropes. The brambles are just too strong. Benjamin looked up at the sky helplessly. Now I've really ruined Peter's surprise party, he whispered. He hugged himself closely. Rabbits are brave. Rabbits are brave. But as he did so, he felt the balloons in his pocket and suddenly had a brilliant idea. While Mr. Toad was distracted, Benjamin whispered his plan into Lily's ear and started blowing up an enormous balloon. What's the plan, Benjamin? whispered Peter. Let's just say it's a surprise, said Lily, tying a paper chain around Mr. Toad's feet. Peter was confused but excited. There was nothing he loved more than surprises. Mr. Toad turned round just as Benjamin finished blowing up the balloon. Quick, hold on to me, puffed Benjamin. Peter and Lily grabbed on tightly. It's working, it's working, cried Peter. The balloon gently floated towards the opening in the trap. The dastardly fox desperately tried to grab the rabbits, but he fell flat on his face. Grat, out fox by rabbits. I'll get you next time, he sneered. The three rabbits floated higher and higher over the woods. Quick, let out some air, cried Lily. We might just make it on time. Make it where? asked Peter. There, said Benjamin, pointing down to the party in the next clearing. But as he pointed, he let out too much air and the three friends zoomed down to the ground towards a giant cake, cheered Peter as the three bunnies landed splat right in the middle of it. Your giant cake, said Peter's mum, smiling. Surprise! At least it was a soft landing. Benjamin giggled. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Peter! Cheered all of Peter's family and friends. Peter was delighted. He loved surprises. I thought you'd all forgotten, he said, licking the delicious icing off his paws. Everyone had a wonderful time at the party. There was plenty of games and tasty treats. They laughed and they played until the sun went down. Sorry for getting a strap, Peter, whispered Benjamin. What do you mean, sorry? I've had an adventure, cake, and a surprise party replied Peter. It's been the best birthday ever. Well boys and girls, what a fantastic adventure we've had with Peter and his friends. No matter how hard Mr Toad tried, there was no way he was spoiling Peter's birthday. Thank you for joining me, good night stories. Remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Good night, sleep tight.